So I got the furnace fired up the other day and uh, made an open cast uh, mould and poured this, which has come out rather nicely. So that is fractionally bigger than the base of the uh, boiler. So what I can kind of do is I'm going to turn this down. I only need about I, only, I think this only needs to be a, raised about an inch, something like that. Then the flywheel will clear any base that we we put it on. So I'll turn turn this down to, so that it's the same uh, outside diameter as the boiler then we'll turn a very slight lip on it so that that will fit that will fit nicely over the lip much like it does on here like that and we can put uh, screws in to hold it in place so yeah so that's that's the pan but that's not gonna be the base per se that's just a riser to get this this up sort of about there so that the flywheel will clear any base and then I need to make another base probably out of wood which is stepped similar to the one that the uh, original Mark Ling engine had that's the, that's the plan so quite a lot of work to do but I think it'll be worth it and it should look nice when it's finished time to make the riser for the hybrid Mark Ling engine and uh, this is probably about the largest lump of aluminium I want to turn in my little tiny lathe, but it should do it all right. We're going to be turning this, um, as this is a three and a half inch diameter, we're going to be running this really slowly, around about 300 RPM. So I'm going to keep a close eye on the temperature of the motor because it's going to get hot fairly quickly at that low speed. And there's quite a load. Cutting this is going to produce quite a load. So I'll close in on it a bit. There we go, and we'll get started. Well, that's cutting nicely, but obviously this is going to take some time. So I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back when we, we're, we're a bit further on with it. We're getting there. As you can see, it's machining quite well. I found that the trick with large lumps of aluminium like this, certainly the home cast stuff, is to make sure you have the RPM at a reasonable speed. I've actually increased it to about 400. It seems quite happy with that. But you do a very, very slow feed, a, low, a slow cutting feed, because that seems to give you the, the best results. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. And I'm not using any lubricant at the moment. I will do when I do my final cuts. To, that'll just finish it off nicely. But no, so I'm going to keep going at this and I'll bring it back when we, we've done the facing off. Well, the facing off's done. It's come out quite nicely. There are little tiny weeny inclusions in the middle there, but for such a large pour, for there only to be these little tiny bits, which we, I could probably, you know, turn those out, but I, it's only a riser, so so you're not going to see the underside anyway. So I think that's actually quite nice. That's that's machined very nicely indeed for home cast aluminium. So the next thing is now to turn this down so that it's the same diameter as the boiler. This thing. So it needs to be that that diameter. And I'll turn that down to well over an inch in, in length on here, because obviously I've got to cut it off. And then we've got to machine a step so that this will fit over it. So that's the next stage. I need to take about 450 thou 
off of this. So I'm going to take a light skimming cut to start with to, to give us all zero. Just very, very uh, small amount. It's cutting quite nicely. Uh, obviously, this thing is out of round, so it will be an interactive cut to start with. It will soon trim itself up. Stop it there. Yeah, that's, it. that's actually cutting quite nicely. So we'll try, to, <coughs> try a little bit more. See how it does. So what I'll do is I think I'll start using some lubrication. I'm going to be using WD-40 as the cutting lube. Works really well on aluminium. And uh, we'll take it up to a bit of a deeper cut because I've got quite a lot to take off. So should be able to manage a deeper cut. I'll keep an eye on the temperature of the motor. It should be fine. Running at about 460 RPM at the moment, which it seems to be happy with. So. Well, I'll keep going with this and bring it back when we're a little bit further along. Right, I've taken off about 60 thou, <clears throat> and I'm doing 15 thou cuts at the moment, which it seems to be happy with. I could probably do more, but um, there's no point in, in stressing, the, stressing the laid out. So um, let's give it another go. There we go, getting a really nice finish on it actually. Now, I can't stress how important it is to run the lathe at the correct speed. When you're turning large diameter pieces like this, I know, obviously this is not large if it, compared to big industrial lathes, or whatever, but in a small lathe like this, is this is large, and this is about three and a half inches in diameter, and if you're using these indexable carbon pieces, you can, um, uh, you can go a little bit faster rather than if you're using high-speed steel tooling, but uh, I'm, 
I slowed it down a bit. I'm down to about 385 RPM, and that is fine. That's producing a lovely, lovely finish on a very slow feed. So I'll keep going with this, and I'll bring it back back when we're um, ready to test fit the boiler. Right, I think we're down to size. Just going to check it with the boiler. Oh yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so now we're going to take off about uh, three and a half, four thou to make the step. So that's what we're going to do next. Well, I think we're there. <clears throat> yeah, nice fit, nice fit, very good. So all we've got to do now is. Um, Try and tap some holes, probably 8BA, some couple of 8BA screws to hold this onto the riser. Uh, obviously I've got to cut it off, but um, and um, I need to drill a hole in the other end because obviously I want to uh, bolt this onto whatever base I finally make for it. But yeah, that's come out well. And also the uh, aluminium has turned up beautifully and well well pleased with that. No inclusions at all around the side. So lovely, lovely job. So this is the setup I've got <clears throat> for drilling the holes for the screws that are gonna mount the boiler onto the riser. I'm gonna slightly over drill the original holes because this is a tapping drill 2.3 mil for 6BA. I wanna put 6BA holes in. So that's on there quite tight. So I'm gonna use my cross drilling attachment to drill in a little way and then we'll tap it. So that's the plan. Uh, let's see if it works. Flutes on little tiny drills do get blocked up really easily, but that's that's doing the job nicely. So now I've changed out the drill bit for the 6BA tap, and I'm going to start the tap off using the, the whole uh, cross drill here. I'll just get that into the. This isn't ideal, but it works. I've done this before, so it's a relatively speaking a slow process, but it does the job. Okay, I'll bring you back when we're done. Now I've got the tap started, I simply remove it from the cross drill and finish and rotate this upright and then I can finish off tapping it using the tap wrench and I can actually feel if it's gonna bind up or anything like that. So, but starting it off the way I did maintains the fact that it will go in straight, which is what we want. So. Anyway, you get the idea. The riser for the hybrid Marklin engine is finished for the boiler. <clears throat> I didn't show the parting off because allowing for stops to allow the lathe to cool down, it took about an hour and a half. And there's nothing more boring than watching a bit of aluminium be parted off. So it's done. I have uh, drilled and tapped a 4BA hole in the bottom. That's just for holding it onto the wooden base. Um, th th the lip here is a little bit scratched up that's because i've been fitting the boiler on off quite a lot but um yeah it all works nicely i'll put the boiler on so you can see let's get the holes lined up so right about there so i think that's about the right place there we go yes and let's pull the camera out a little bit i may take a little bit off of this this is a bit um, deeper than i originally anticipated anticipate it but you know it does the job so i can always turn your face that off but let me get the uh, the engine frame uh, so when the engine frame is actually on on the boiler now 
with a lot more clearance for the flywheel. Don't forget this is um, obviously also going to be on a, on a wooden base so it will be lifted up even higher. So yeah, much much better. I'll probably paint that black, the, um, the riser, but uh, yeah I think it's, uh, it's it was a lot of machining. Obviously with a small lathe it does take you rather a lot of time to do large lumps of metal but you can still do it which is the uh, which is the good thing. Okay on to the next thing, the base. <laughs> 